not pass me no sand. She won't top inside the mall. She like to fuck when she can. Pay for the Uber, then give her my tip. She suck on this dick and then fuck on the dick. Roll around with them foreign ass whips. Change the CDs and then changing them zips. They get mad cause I fuck. Uh oh, the time has come. What did you two it's your boy boss? And I'm back with another video, man. My boy Corporate Drop Part 8. With the quickness too. I feel like I just read it to part seven. Um, shout out to my niggas on Twitter. Uh, y'all seen that I was waiting on this shit to drop last. Uh, I sent that bitch about two days ago. Nigga dropped it two days later. That's crazy. Anyway, we about to get straight to it. We gonna see how this nigga left. I mean, uh, what decision this nigga um ended up doing? I think most of y'all was saying y'all would have took it to the grave. You feel me? Um, y'all some low down niggas. <laughs> but I feel you. You feel me? Cause if he say if he say a word, but it's over with. We get straight to it though. Not for that pussy ass time. We got a long video today. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. On the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. Nah, but on the last episode of Black Chicago Be Like Pie 105 Part 7, Cookie was making it her business to make me feel it about her Tesla being impounded. My first had to sleep on the couch, eat cold breakfast while she had that hot portions in my face. Shout out to Raisin Brand. Even though I was able to empathize, it was still like, wow. It ain't making no better that I had to take her to work in the lean mean green machine. She was super blue. Motherfucker went for losing. She wanted me to take her by the beauty supply so she can get some curling moves before I drop her off at work. After we get it and leave out, her crazy ex's crazy ex end up running into us with a bunch of her friends looking like the gross sisters. They was on that. I was trying to stop that cat fight from erupting, but it was inevitable. You would have thought they was from Moscow the way they was rushing. The ring leading crazy ex decided she wanted to play dirty. Pulled out a pocket Shit. knife. Poked my little mama right up. Bogus as hell. Luckily, she ain't killing. We got to the emergency room in time. Had me about scared to death. I ain't even want to leave her side for real, for real, until my baby mama called in. Reminded me that I had to pick up my little one. I let her know I was still coming to get her though. I felt better about leaving after the doctor came in, confirmed everything was decent, but they had to keep her for a few days. Cookie ain't hesitate to remind me before I left that I need to get a Tesla back and I need to get it back fast. Soon as I got in the car, I hit up Big Twine and let him know we needed the link so I could try to figure out how I was gonna get her shit up out the impound. Oh yeah, I just realized he never linked with Big Twine. After that, I went and picked up my daughter. Let me know she wanted to go to Honda Trails. End up asking her mama, could she go? BM one on that. Milan put her foot out, got the guilt tripping. Made her change her mind. Didn't know we was gonna have a family excursion that day, but that's what it ended up being. Milan Monroe was on cloud nine. Got to play all the games she wanted to play. I even participated in playful exchanges with her mama. Hey, you know me and her been into it lately. I about almost threw up on one of them spinning rides. At the end of the day, it was a successful family outing to say the least. Wore that baby right out. We came back to Cookie Crib so my BM could use the bathroom before she go back home. Before she could call her Uber, conversation started. And uh, one thing led to another, and I end up whooping her shit in cookie room. Bogus as hell, I know. The next day, she got up and hopped in the Uber to take her and Milan back home. And after she left, that's when I asked for y'all help. Keep in mind, though, she not only did he cheat on her, the BM cheated on the new nigga. Well... The people have spoken, and you all have elected for me to take it to take the it to the grave. They can say less. Oh my! The phone God. get the ringing. Niggas ain't shit. <laughs> now look, it was Cookie calling. I, I answer. I cookie. hello. She, hey handsome, grand rising. Ooh. I, grand rising, beautiful. How you feeling? She, I'm okay. Not as much pain without the meds as yesterday. The only time I feel it is when I'm on the toilet. My side be aching when I have to push, you know? I, uh, I'm sorry to hear that boo-boo head. 
She, shut up, grow up. Anyway, how was everything with your daughter yesterday? Ah, um, it, it, it was cool. We, we, we had a great time. She, that's good. What y'all do? Ah, we went to Hina Trails. You know that little, uh, the little arcade place? She, too cute. You took her back home afterwards or she spent the night? Ah, oh no, she, she, uh, came back here and, and spent the night with daddy. She, I know she enjoyed that one-on-one -on -one time with you. Ah, yeah. Yep, that, that time with just her and daddy. Lying through my teeth. She, I love it. The doctor said I'd be able to come home tomorrow. Everything looks good. Ah, tomorrow? Oh, that's a blessing. I'm glad. She, I'm ready to come home. I'm tired of laying up in this hospital. Ah, I, I know. It ain't nothing like sleeping in your own bed. She, it'll be tomorrow in no time, though, so I ain't tripping. Ah, just let me know, honey, and I'll be right there. She, imagine me being picked up in my Tesla tomorrow. That'll be raw as hell. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, cookie bad as hell, bro. We'll see now, won't we? She, uh-huh, we gon' see. Don't let me down, Bartholomew. Bye-bye. And hung up. <laughs> Pressure. The last thing I needed was to get caught up too, so I instantly got up and collected all of the sheets off the bed. I was just about to say, at least wash the sheets, my nigga. I ain't need no evidence to be present once Cookie got back home. I Me and baby cook. mama was body to body last night. Nothing the sweet smell of game couldn't delete the memory of. Heavy duty cycle. Place heavy I Threw the sheets in the washer. Glad as hell I remembered to be on top of things. Then I went to go hop in the shower and wash my sins away. While I was shampooing and conditioning my taco meat, I was in my thoughts, feeling fake guilty for real, for real. As you should. I couldn't change what happened. All I could do was proceed forward with the day. If I could get Cookie Tesla back, that'll make me feel much better. Once I got out the shower, I FaceTimed Big Twan so we could figure it out. He answered, I, yo, he, what's good, bro? What you want? I, cool and cool the whole time. My fuck still linking up today. He, yeah, but on one condition, though. I, all right, I got you on gas money. He, nah, I don't need no gas money. I, what? He, I need you to take that motherfucking shower cap off. Your ass look like Waldo <laughs> off of Family Matters. All I was trying to do was protect my locks from unnecessary. Oh, he did. <laughs> I forgot about Waldo. I wonder uh, what he doing now. Me. He, man, if you don't get your do, 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 do. It's a rare condition, condition in this, this day, day and age, age to read any good news on in a the newspaper, newspaper page. page. Looking ass, boy. <laughs> All right, are you done or are you finished? He, yeah, man, just pull up on me. Right, matter of fact, I need you to pick me up whole time. I've been using my OG car and I'm tired of driving around in that little ass Skittle. He, all right, you at your OG crib, right? Ah, hell nah, I'm at my crib. He, you and your baby mama get back together? Ah, nay. I got a noon. <laughs> nay. <laughs> he, damn, when that happened? Ah, we definitely got to catch up. He, I got me a new little mood too. We gonna chop it up? Ah, hold on, let me text you the address right now. Hey. How far away is you? He, it say I'm 45 minutes away. Ooh. Ah, all right, that's cool. I'll be dressed by then. Keep it a beam, bro. Big Twan, the friend we all need, bro. This nigga always down. Nigga willing to pick him up. 45-minute drive, nigga. At the ass crack of dawn, nigga. Wake me up to this e, bad ass I'm news. on my way back. I you a real nigga, bro. Shout out to, shout out to Big Twan. If it was anybody I could depend on to come up with a plan, it was Big Twan. If it was anybody I could depend ah, on to not ah, be on time, ah, it was ah. Big Twan. Of course, he showed bit. up three hours later. Pull that bit. I walk up. He's shadow balling out. Boy, yo, this is huff. You cannot hope. Knock it off. He, boy, your ass tweaking. If I want smoking so much, I'll be in the league. Mm -hmm. My mama straight dunking on motherfuckers, boy. Fuck you talking about? I, you ain't dunking, but don't us, you big goofy. He, hey, don't look too good on you. You should try something else. But anyway, what motherfucker got going? I, pss, man, I didn't got my compounded. I can't get that motherfucker about it. They didn't call me with pole. I done tried to evade the police. Motherfucker just got out. It's been a lot going on since the last time I talked to you. I ain't gonna lie. He evading the police. And you got caught with a pole? 
How did you get out so quick, boy? Your ass out here telling? Jeremiah Phillips' face. Ah, man, look, we'll talk about all that later, but yeah, motherfuckers got jammed up with a whole lot of extra sh I got up out of the shorty car, still impounded. I need about two bands to get that out. What can we do, bro? What motherfuckers got going so I could uh, run this shit up real quick, real fast? He, I know this dude named Johnny Ice. I used to deliver a lot of packages to when I was working at Amazon. He told me if I ever need to make some serious money, hit him up. He gonna put him up in the game. EA Sports, you hear me? Ah, that'll be a blessing. I appreciate it, shit. When can we slag? He, I'm texting him right now. Real nigga rescues. Ah, blessings. He, who your noob though? Ah, whole time. You remember Cookie? Light skin? That motherfucker was back there? Junior, yeah, I was a junior. She was a senior. He, oh, you talking about shorty that used to be eating up them motherfucking gym shorts and pee? Ah, yes. That one. It was random as hell, but me and Shorty about damn near married. How they meet again? Was it in like Walmart or some shit? Oh, that's raw as hell. I got me a new little situation too. She thick as hell, cool as hell. She got her little nick, but I ain't gonna hold it against her. We locked in. I motherfuckers in love. He is crazy, but it's close. I ain't gonna lie to you. Ah, wow. What happened she to the white girl? Gram, let me see her. What happened to the white he, girl he was fucking with? Hold on. With he the, pulled uh, out his phone. It get the ring and he. It's my baby mama calling me now. He answered. He. Hello? She. I need you to go see about my car. He. I'm finna bust a move right quick. Why you can't do it? She. Because I'm finna pick your kids up from school. What's the problem? He. I right, damn. But if it's ready, I can't bring it to you right now. She. That's fine. I'll just take an Uber later. Just see what he time about. And pay for it. He. Pay for it. Man, your ass. Tweak. She. I paid for that little raggedy Jeep to get fixed last time it was in the shop, but with a deep side he I man, damn. She I bye and hung up. He, yeah, we gotta go see about my baby mama car right quick. Ah, uh, the same motherfucker still got your baby mama car. It's time to put belt the ass now, nah, cause they playing. <laughs> I was with him the last time he went to go check on his baby mama car. I saw for myself firsthand how they was shucking and jiving. He, boy, already. I had to get on my ass, boy. Let me tell you. I was fed up. I took an Uber to go see about the car. I had the spec key with me and everything. I was going to take it whether they fix it or not. I see his assistant. I, hey, where that motherfucking mechanic at, man? He. Hey, man. Hey, man. You talking about Uncle Hey, man? Man, he, he didn't took off, man. He went to a family reunion, man. He went to his family reunion, man. He be back tomorrow. He, family reunion. You mean out of town? He's supposed to be working on my motherfucking car. He, would you got some type of problem with that man spending time with his relatives, man? Who you, Oliver Twist? What you, some type of orphan or something? You got something against family gatherings? Is that a soft spot for you, nigga? It took everything in me. Ah, right, I'm gonna need a refund. I'm gonna get on up out of here. He, hey, you show, Charlie. I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm gonna let Uncle Hank know you came by here, though. You stay dangerous. Yeah, okay, I, man, gonna put your hands up, man. <laughs> we had the box heat. Hey man, hey man, listen man, I done fought with Mike and Train Rocky, man. I'm finna dust show young ass off, boy. He get to squaring up. Why his brim like this? Now I'm in the alley about to fight a fiend. He swing out, uh-uh. <laughs> Connect, he. Oh, oh, you got some ice spice to you, huh? I got something for your ass, boy. Took out a crack pipe, broke it against the ground. Try to stab me with it. I'm moving around. He try to slice me again. I grab him. Wrangle his little ass up. Why you say Monday Night Raw, buddy? He come on, man. Come on, man. Y'all know me like that, man. Come on, man. I choke slam him right in the alley. Put him to sleep. He why? Why is he I go in his pockets? Oh, why is he narrating as if this is him? Roll. I repossess all that pirate activity. I hop in the car. I'm talking about. I'm not even sure if it's gonna start. You hear me? Left him right there in the why? alley. He laid out like that. Oh, he got the dress Boy, then got right up out of the... Ah, uh, hell no. Hit his ass with the big show. Oh, that was a throwback? He, this other mechanic, my baby mama cousin, oh. he a little off, but they say he get the job done. I, I pray he get it right. He, hopefully I ain't got to go across his motherfucking head too, shit. Okay, that makes I, sense. Pff, if so, it's going to be a team effort today. Fuck Tim out. He, pff, we gone. And nah. fell in the car so we could slide over there. Twine had it good though, bro. He had a white baby mama. She was buying them PSN points and shit like that. Ah, he say less. Chilling, chillin', bro. Wrapping up. We get that. We walking up. He under the hood. Twine, yo. 
the mechanic pop up, Pete. Yes, nigga. What up, my boy? Before passionately biting into an apple. Twine, cool and cool and trying to see what's the BM Kai. Hoping you ain't let me down. My has been tweaking with it. He, man, you already know I ain't gonna let cuz down. <laughs> Come over here so I can show you what's going on. We step up, hoping for some good news. Buddy, so the last mechanic put on the serpentine belt, but he put it on incorrectly and he put on the wrong size. <laughs> but I went ahead and got that together for you. Twine, damn, I appreciate you, bro. Buddy, nah, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. And I got your carburetor. <laughs> Cooperate. Did that apple dirty, big twine. <laughs> Somebody finally got it right. Love. Buddy, now I know you was wondering what that sweet pee in the bed smell was. That was your water pump going out. Upped another apple. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Took care of it for you. <laughs> Big Twine. Bravo, bravo. Why you up the you apple damage, like that? Bro. Buddy, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> then he took his hat off, wiped his brow, and then stuffed his apple in the chest pocket of his shirt. Whipped out a calculator. What camera I say? I get computers putin. He got the calculating shit. All you can hear is... He add the applicable Illinois taxes and tap and your and your total comes out to 1017 Brick Squad. Communicated that information with confidence. Big Twine, a salt buck? Hey Bartholomew, you got 17 cent? Buddy, my bad for the misconstruction. That was actually $1,017.09. With a deep sigh, Big Twine. Bro, I ain't got no cash, what you take? Buddy, I take cash out, then Moselle, even EB. I don't take EBT though. Everything else, but I don't take EBT. That's some mention, Big Twine. What's your cash out, bro? He is dollar sign, do si do, automotives. Big Twine, sent. Buddy, got it. Big Twan, man, thank you, bro. You actually a pretty good mechanic. You do this shit, huh? Buddy, yeah, this actually just my side hustle. I'm running late for my primary job. Big Twan, oh, this is your side hustle. What you really do then? Buddy, you probably wouldn't believe me if I told you. He magician. He magician. Yo ass, a stripper out here, boy. Ain't nobody judging. Freak ass. <laughs> he, yeah, I'm a stripper, all right. I strip the world of evil and wrongdoers. Me and Big Twan was looking confused as hell. Out of nowhere. He get the ripping up his shirt and underneath it was a, a a ninja top. I kid you not. The man pulled out a matching ninja mask out his back pocket, threw it over his head. I'm not even kidding. Then the man stood there like, ha ha, forget he still had his jeans on. Started coming up out hey, of those revealing that hey, he had what are you doing? matching ninja bottoms. Then stood there posing like he was ready to fight crime. Me and Big Twan was speechless. Tell me why the man started kneeling and then he just take off running out of nowhere. Flipped into a handstand. Athletic ass. How he just do that with them big ass boots? on the ground. Then did a ninja flip to get up. Hopped the gate of the next door neighbor's house. Fell down the steps to their basement. And proceeded to take off in a Naruto style fashion. He got them big ass big triple S's on his feet you, doing baby this. Mama said something wrong with the nigga. We gone. I'm finna call the teller, come pick up the car. At least that motherfucker was fixed. We finally made it to Johnny Ice Crib to see what was to the little money move. My fuzz needed that. The day was almost over. This Italian guy come to the door. He, who the fuck are you guys? Big Twan, man. I'm here to see Johnny Ice. It's Big Twan, man. Buddy, I right, get in here. Let me frisk you guys down. I ain't know we was going to the Sopranos house, but we stepped inside. Big Twan bop up. He pat him down. He, you're good, big galoot. I stepped forward. He pat me down. He, frowl little guy, aren't you? You're good. Get in there. He directs us toward the kitchen. Get a load of this. We walk guy. in. I look. I see this. Prissy little prototype bent over putting something in the oven. Chocolate Ooh. and looked at Chewy. I'm she like, looks, damn. She, she like she got dollar on her continue name. to walk in. The Johnny Ice dude. Hey, Big Twan, my friend. Nice to see you. Big Twan. Shit. Can't complain, Mr. Ice. Nice to see you too. How you feeling? He, 
Uh, not too good. You bring this stranger in my house and he's looking at my mistress. How you expect me to feel about that? Ah, I, I, I apologize, uh, Mr. Ice. Uh, I didn't mean anything bad. I assure you. He, let me ask you a question, kid. You know how to swim? Uh, actually, I do. Uh, used to be the captain of my swimming team at my high school. He, well, you think you'll be able to swim with two cinder blocks tied to your ankles? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm a pretty good swimmer. He, what, what do you like? Some type of wise guy, huh? And then Reese in his trench coat, Big Twine. Nah, 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 Mr. Ice, he cool, man. He don't know no better. He don't want no smoke. He, oh, okay, because I'm not the one to play with. Ask Gary Garlic Bread. He's napping with the fishes in Lake Michigan. Take a seat. He motioned us to sit down at the kitchen table. We obliged. It was finally time to get down to business. His mistress walked over to the table and set a hot microwavable plate of spaghetti down in front of him. That's she sweetie started ass up milk. a little bit, then took a slice of cheese and smacked it on top. He, uh, I'm not too fond of how you guys make spaghetti in the States, but as long as you make it, I love it. She, period, I, period, uh. He, pardon me for being so rude. This is my girlfriend, Diamond, and this is my mistress, Baja. Diamond, oh, oh. I made sure not it's to look too hard. His girlfriend took a fork of spaghetti and fed it to him. Oh, now he After living that, life. He, guys need some money, huh? I think I can help you with that. Big Twan, man, blessings, but what's the play? The mistress participated in her turn and forking up some spaghetti and feeding it to him. Must be nice. After that, he reached in his trench coat and pulled out a piece of paper, slid it across the table. Big twine. So what's the purse? Buddy, 25 big ones. Ah, uh, 25,000? He, see. Big twine start unfolding the paper. Buddy, those are the instructions, but you can't read them until you leave. Anxiety inducing, but Big Twine, say less. Buddy, as long as you complete the designated task by midnight, the money is yours. It was simple math, for real, for real. Buddy, I wish you guys the best of luck and Godspeed. It better not be go get me a sandwich. Some One nothing further like that. else to talk about. Me and Big Twine got up and proceeded to vacate. Give me a ham and we cheese, hold the lettuce, some dumb ass dollars shit. that we had to earn real quick, real fast. It was an address on the piece of paper we had to pull up to. We get the, ah, this the right crib? I ain't expect for us to be participating in no home invasion. He, boy, hell yeah. According to this, we should have got us some ski masks or something. We and this bitch un incognito in a month. Ah, right, we out here playing crazy for 25000 Motherfuckers need all pie to that, though, so we in this bit. He on my mama. It say Mickey Mama supposed to be leaving right about now. And like clockwork, this dude with colorful locks bop out the crib and leave out the hop in his car. For Johnny Ice to know that type of timing, this gotta be some type of back door situation. This gotta have been his man's at one point or something. That one, no concern of eyes. We was here to do a job. We ain't play no games. We bop right out. Get the walking up the street right by the crib. Check to make sure the coast was clear. Huh. <sighs> Slid right up the driveway. A light pop on. Stop me right in my tracks. Big Twine diving to push his <laughs> next door. I turned to him. I, it's a motion sensor light, you dumb bitch. This man struggling to get up from in between the greenery and these people crib. We go up the porch. Big Twine take out a car. Jimmy the lock. Blessings. We step inside. Ah. I hope it ain't nobody home. They done left the lights on and everything. I look down. It's two canine animals looking right at us. Big Twan, hey, little fella. Want to snap it to a Slim Jim? Oh, yeah. And then he proceeded to reach in his pocket and pull out some 
beef jerky sticks. Didn't know that was a snack of his preference, but I was thankful for it at that moment. He dropped pieces on the floor and they was eating them right up. Had them preoccupied. Just enough for us to be able to step around them without any issues. We continued through the house. I looked down. Eek! Mm -hmm. It was a chameleon. Jinkies. Before I knew it, I was in Big Twan arms. He put me down. Ah, I, I see why he Mickey Mammal. That man had creatures in here. We keep walking and then we run into a whole turtle just chilling. Ah, damn. Chameleon that Ann Franklin up in this month. This a star studded event. We creep around the turtle. Even though it was chilling, I was still scared as hell. I ain't got no experience with nature, boy. Big Twine, it say, when we go into the basement, look between two tanks, the package is gonna be there. We ain't know if he was talking about hot water tanks or what, we split up. Big Twine go into a bathroom and find two dead mice in the sink. That <laughs> wasn't what we was looking for. What type of life this nigga living? He pop back out, and to his surprise, I was covered in serpents. They got me. I couldn't move. I'm having stroke after stroke after stroke. Boy, I'm damn that dying. You hear me? One arm was around my neck. At any moment, he could have decided that he wanted to get the hug in me, suffocate me to death, or even worse, bite me. Coming from Chicago, that ain't nowhere near how I thought I'd die. I ain't even going to lie to you. Big Twine came to my rescue, slid over and pulled the snakes off of me one by one while I silently cried and peed on myself a little bit. Luckily, he wasn't scared of snakes, so he just placed them back in their tank. Big Twan Superman. In the midst of me still crying and panicking, what I noticed, all white bricks sitting in between two tanks, just like the letter said. I start trying to collect them. I'm right there feeling like OJ the Juice Man. You Quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey! I couldn't even tell you how much it was. Oh, Jay, the juice, All man. I knew is that retrieval of these packs man, I'm going with, would I, yield $25,000. So I was no longer crying from trauma, but I was now crying from tears of joy. I collected them all, and we ran up out of there as quick as we could. I'm talking about I'm tripping and falling over and everything. I couldn't believe we actually completed the mission. We raced to Johnny Ice, and he kept his word. Cashed us out, 25 big ones. Easiest 12,000 I could have ever made. Glory, we pull up to the gas station after that big twine. Man, this shit got me pods. You want something out of here? Ah, nah, I'm good, I'm straight. I'm just trying to get home and go to bed so I could wake up and get this girl Tesla. I know she gonna be happy as hell. Big Twan say less. He look out the outside mirror. He that go my right there. He pop out. I guess he saw Shorty that he been talking to. I pop out to see what's to it and what I see. He in a warm embrace of the same female oh. that stabbed Cookie up. I couldn't believe it, and I knew my eyes wasn't deceiving me. That's one face that it wasn't no way that I could forget. What are the chances? My anxiety was on 10,000. I got to ask y'all a question. I need y'all help. Y'all saw that? That's clearly shorty that shrink my sugar. <laughs> now, Big Twine and expressed that he definitely feeling a special type of way about shorty. So what should I do? Should I pull Big Twan into the situation and let him know what's going on? Or should I just keep it to myself and let me and Cookie handle it separately? Drop it in the comments and let me know what I should do. Keep that motherfucker. And on the pushing, next bro. episode of Black Chicago Be Like Part 105, Part 9, we're going to see what's to it. Let me know what's up. Oh, oh God. God. Hell nah, nigga. Keep it pushing. You about to you about to fuck it up for everybody, bro. Nigga getting pussy on the side. You about to what you finna do, nigga? <laughs> Anything you do is not gonna help any situation, man. You just gonna dig yourself deeper, nigga. You already you already done fucked her life up enough. Now if a scratch lay upon that woman, cookie gonna be in question. 
And Cookie gonna be out of that motherfucker. What are you talking about, bro? You better stop. Let that shit slide, bro. You live, you live to fight another day, bro. You just made a quick 12 bands. You finally can get the Tesla. Shit's starting to turn up for you, bro. Don't go, don't go ruin it. Granted, that bitch did steal your, that bitch did stab your bitch, but you can't, you know, you, you shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I wouldn't do nothing. But then again, it's like, damn, she really stabbed my bitch. Like, imagine if my, if my girl didn't like make it. I don't know. That's a sticky situation. Like, what do you do? Cause you can't. Revenge is like crazy, bro. Cause it's like, bro, you could get revenge, but then after the aftermath of revenge is like, was it worth it? You know? Cause now you either dug yourself deeper in a hole, or you're gonna have to deal with the consequences of your actions. Cause nigga, you you can't lay your hand, you, you lay your hands on you going to jail. You what? You, what are you gonna do? What can you do? Get your homegirl. Get your get your uh get your mom. No, you get your auntie. You know, to get somebody. I don't know, bro. Nigga like me kept, nigga like me um clocking in my W boy. I got 23 of them things for the for the night. I'm straight, bro. I'm going to the crib. This nigga, you know what I know about this nigga Corp, bro? He needs to stay away from gas stations, bro. It's, it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit that happens to this nigga at, at gas stations, bro. He gotta stay away, bro. Him and gas stations don't don't go together. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment down below. I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in this episode only because now the episode was great though. But I'm only disappointed because I wanted. The toxic nigga in me wanted wanted the cookie to find out, bro. I want I wanted some spiciness to happen, you know what I'm saying? I wanted some altercation. This whole video was the like a like a I guess it's like a you know like a bridge to get to the actual cause next episode probably gonna be better, but like I was waiting a week, bro. I wanted to see what was gonna happen, you feel me? But that's that goes to show you, bro. I mean, he know how to keep it locked in, cause I'm 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 gonna see part nine, you feel me? But it's like really did wish that uh cookie would have found out or something, bro, or the baby mama would have got caught coming out. The, I don't know. Something, bro. Something. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think he should do? I think the answer is obvious here, bro. I think I already know what the next episode going to look like. Uh, go ahead and smash the like button. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and comment to the, uh, reply to the comments with what I think. Um, but I want to see y'all thoughts first. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Link to the intro song is in the description. Go check it out. I would appreciate that. And go follow me on Instagram. We out this bit. I know if I'm wasting my time. I know if you ain't crossing the line. I know if push gonna shove with shit. If you gon' stand on the dime. I don't smash why I don't post. And now that I'm always gon' ghost. If I'm sickin', you fake like so. I'm high life, I come close my roast. I know you bitch. I know you a ox. I know you foe.